Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Heffy Doodle. In this video, we are going to create this accordion card featuring the My Little Angel stamp set. I love how this card turned out. I really think accordion cards are really fun. They're kind of like an interactive card because as you open the card, you see more of the image. It kind of more surprises are revealed. I just think it's a really fun kind of card design. To create this card, you're going to need three A2 side folding card bases. So these are actually a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. So you have it, so the measurements are five and a half by eight and a half. So I've already scored right down the middle of each one of my card bases, and I'm going to grab these dies. These are the silver linings cloud border dies, so really beautiful dies that have a stitch detail on either side of the cut. So you just get this beautiful detail on the negative or the positive, so I think that's awesome. So we're gonna do some partial die cutting. So I'm not going to completely cut this A2 card base with this die. I wanna stop right at the halfway point or right at the score line. So I'm going to position this die here and I do want this cloud level to be pretty short, not too tall because this is my first cloud layer. My cloud layers will get progressively taller as my card grows. It just adds a fun element to you know create a scene so I just position that top plate right up against that score line on the card base and this is going to stop the cutting right at the score line you need that plate to completely cover a die to comp to cut the whole die so since we're stopping right there with the top plate we're not going to cut beyond that score line so I just went ahead and ran it through my die cutting machine now I'll pull back the tape and the die and you'll see that the cut stopped right there at the score line. So partial die cutting is a really handy trick for, you know, kind of having some control over where your die stops and starts cutting sometimes. That's necessary to do. So now I'm going to flip my card over and now I have the inside of my card facing up and I'm going to die cut the second half of my card base. Now you can see here, I'm just gonna position the die right up to the score line, so I'm not gonna go past the score line, and that's going to mean I don't have to bother or even worry about partial die cutting. You can do that instead this whole time if you don't wanna worry about, you know, if you don't wanna bother with partial die cutting. Um, I was a little bit particular about using how my clouds looked, and I wanted to use middle sections of some of these cloud dies, which required me to do some partial die cutting. So we are now gonna move on to our second card base, and what I'm gonna show you real quick here is kind of how this accordion, accordion card goes together. As you can see for our second card base, um, we're gonna adhere the first and the second together, which means that that second card base kind of need, well, the fold needs to be on the right side, which is a little bit different, so it's a little flipped. And to make sure that these two panels line up perfectly, the backside of the first card base to the front of the second card base, I need to use this negative from the first card to kind of help me position the die so I have these the clouds perfectly aligned, perfectly matching on both the first and second card base. So I just line the edge of the negative up with the score line and that created a little lip of cardstock which allowed me to kind of nestle that die back in place used a piece of tape to hold it in and now I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine again I'm doing a partial die cut here so I'm going to place that top plate right up to the edge of the score line and then run it through now I'll remove the tape and the die and put that negative piece aside I'm actually done with that but I wanted to show you that you should save these negative pieces beyond just helping you create this accordion card they are great for um, other cards I think that negative piece looks kind of like waves so I think it would be good to use with the otter set as well so now I'm going to die cut the other half of this card and again I have it opened up so I'm looking at the center of the card and I'm just going this is going to be my very last a bit of cloud so it's of my very tallest section of cloud so I'm going almost to the tip top and again I just lined that uh, cloud die right up to the edge or right up to the score line so I didn't need to bother with partial die cutting for that half and I'm just going to do a little trim here because I missed a little spot when I was die cutting but now you can see how these two card bases are going to go together. We're now going to move on to the third and final card base. This card base, the fold is going to be on the left, so traditional way. And again, we are going to line up 
the two card bases together so this time we're lining up the second card base with the third and because we want them to line up perfectly I'm going to use that negative get a negative again I'm lined up the edge of the card stock with the score line and then once I get that in place I'll grab the die nestle it in then use a piece of tape to hold it in place and then I'll run the negative and the card base with the die through the die cutting machine and I did a partial die cut once more so the cut stops right at the score line and then I will reinforce my, my uh, score line and then I'll just trim off that little bit of excess um, cardstock. And that will actually complete my die cutting with the uh, clouds. I've actually, with that last cut, we have all our clouds die cut and we're really ready to kind of assemble this um, accordion structure card base together with our three cut uh, card bases. So here are all the card bases laid out and now I'm going to adhere them together. Starting with the first card base, add some liquid glue to the back side and then just adhere it to the front of the second card base. And as you can see here, they line up perfectly. That's because we took such good care making sure that that die was perfectly in place so the two layers would match up. And I'm gonna repeat this process now for the last card. Add some liquid glue and then stick them together. You would of course could use a tape runner if you prefer, but I do like the little bit of wiggle room liquid glue gives me so I can make sure I get those layers perfectly aligned. Once we adhere those three card bases together, we have our accordion card built and now we're ready to decorate. We are now going to ink blend all over this card base and one of my favorite ink blending tricks is making a mask out of contact paper. That's clear contact paper. I just cut a rectangle of it off and then ran it through my die cutting machine with one of the silver linings cloud dies and I've created this mask that will make ink blending this whole card really quick and easy. I'm going to remove the backing from the mask then just place it right onto my card and then I will grab this really pretty um, ocean breeze kind of pool color and just ink blend right along the top edge of that mask and that's going to create a really pretty soft cloud line and once I'll just carefully remove the mask and then I'll reposition it here I am trying to keep my cloud lines very congruent so whatever I ink blend on one panel I try to continue that line or that you know match those the beginning and end together of that cloud line just it just has a very seamless look that way and I've just sped this up here real quick because it's a very repetitive process and I'm just going to ink blend all over these three panels with this uh, mask and this uh, blue ink and it's just going to create a really pretty soft background soft back uh, backdrop for our um, angels now I'm just going to ink on that little bit top section and now I'm moving on to the inside of our card and again repeating the exact same process with the mask again trying to keep that that um, cloud line seamless just make it nice and congruent and then I even blended the very back um, straight panel as well. I did make a little mistake here. If you do ink blend kind of or you get some of that ink where you don't want it, a Tombow Mono um, eraser, sand eraser works great for removing ink especially when we only have like a very light amount like we do here. And here you can see we have our whole card base ink blended. It's just really fun and pretty almost looks like pattern paper. I just think it has a cool look. So I went ahead and stamped several of these angels from the My Little Angels stamp set and I stamped them in a brown ink. I wanted just to have a kind of a different look. Now I'm going to Copic color these. The colors I'm using are on screen. This is some really simple Copic coloring and I cut out any of the repetitiveness. So I always start with my lightest color when I Copic color. Then I move on to my medium and then my dark shade and then I work my way back through. But for most of these images, because they're such small little sections, I only use like two colors to color all of them. So I just finished the brown hair. Now I'm moving on to the yellow hair. I'm also going to use the same colors that I use for the yellow hair to color some of these robes yellow kind of picked out rainbow colors for the robes now I'm gonna move on to the halos and some of these musical instruments I have kind of like a golden colors picked out for those just gonna really quickly color those in 
Once I've colored in all the halos and the instruments, I'm now moving on to the wings. I have BG10 picked out. This is just a really light kind of blue-green, very similar to what the cloud color that we ink blended with. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to the wings and then a little bit of shadow to the cloud. This just adds a little depth. And then I'll move on to kind of finishing these angels up with the final robe colors. I do color the heart as well. The heart's going to go in between the hands of one of the angels. And again, I'm just using two colors for every shade. And, um, you know, I'll start with my light, then I'll move to my medium, and then ink blend that transition with my lightest shade. So really simple, simple Copic coloring here. I actually even debated whether to include the coloring in this video because it is very basic. But just in case you wanted you know, a little bit of insight on how I color or, or specific, uh, especially if you want to know what colors I used, I included them in this video. So I'm now just finishing up with my green robe here on this angel. And again, started with my light, then my medium, and then blended the transition between the two with my lightest shade. I'm now going to, I guess, color this one here. I haven't colored her robe with a blue combo. So now I went ahead and die cut all of my images out, as well as this beautiful little halo that I stamped, or I guess, radiation, radiation, radiating um, light um, that I stamped in a yellow ink. And then I went ahead and died, cut the, all the angels out as well. But I love about this set. So you really know that these were designed by a card maker because all of their little hands, almost all of the angels' little hands um, are die cut out so you can easily pop in your um, kind of your your details like the the musical instruments that heart it's just so well designed such a great set so I am just lifted up one of the arms here added a little dab of glue to the back side and popped in that instrument now and I'm going to just kind of put all my um, my my angels on my card really kind of finish this up so I'm again using liquid glue I'm just gonna glue these angels down to the front of my card just picked out three angels for the front the rest of my angels will go on the inside of my card I made sure that they were kind of poking out at the top here so they're really visible I didn't really want anything to be kind of hidden once I stuck my angels down I grabbed my misty and tucked in the corner of the front panel into the corner that I misty aligned a sentiment from the My Little Angel stamp set and I'm now going to stamp it. This is my front, my first sentiment or my front sentiment for my card. I'll have an inside sentiment as well. And I used the same brown ink that I used to stamp all my angels in and I just stamped it twice so it was nice and bold and um, sharp. And now that I've stamped my sentiment, I'm going to open up the inside of my card and start gluing down all of my remaining angels. So I have one green one there. That's actually that same green one that was in the front of my card that I glued on the front. I'm going to open up this sitting angel's arms here and tuck in this little harp. At least I think it's a little harp. I'm going to add a little dab of glue again, just like before, to make sure to kind of secure that harp in her arm. And then I will add some glue to the backside of her and stick her down. My second to last angel here, she's really simple and easy. I'm just going to add some glue to the backside of her and glue her on the same panel here, but more at the upper portion. And then for my final angel, she has multiple parts. So I'm first going to adhere that radiating light piece right behind her halo. And then I'm going to grab that little heart and place it right in between her hands. And I just love that little extra detail of that radiating light. I just think it's just so cute. Really such a great design set. So now that I have all my angels kind of in place, except for my last one, I'm not going to glue that one quite yet, but I'm going to place it here on my back panel just to help me get the positioning right for my sentiment. I'm a little afraid to adhere that angel down quite yet until I've finished stamping my sentiment. I just don't want to get any ink on her at all. And again, I'm going to use that same brown that I used for all my angels. Stamped it twice, so again, it was nice and bold and crisp. And now I'm going to adhere my final angel, again with some liquid glue, right in the center there, right above the sentiment, and that will actually complete my card. I'll now hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look at some of the details on this card, including the beautiful little stitch lines that the Silver Linings Cloud border die adds. I also wanted you to see that um, there is a lot of dimension to this card, but it folds down pretty fat, 
pretty flat because it's just layers of cardstock, not any foam tape or anything. Here I've opened up the card so you can see all of the details on the inside, this fun little scene, including our beautiful, very simple ink blending. Has to be simple because we did it on both sides all over this card base and I'm just really happy with how this card turned out. I think accordion cards are a really fun design, a really simple um, kind of interactive card because there's no any moving parts. It's just the folds of the card and it just uh, it's allows for you to kind of tell a story or really kind of create a fun scene. I hope you guys enjoy today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.